Hello, um, my name is Alan Bradley, and I'm a professor and department chair in civil and environmental engineering. And in this video, um, I would like to tell you about our two undergraduate degree programs within the department. The civil and environmental engineering um, has a very long history at Iowa. Civil engineering was approved as a four-year degree in 1873. Um, 25 years after engineering courses were first offered by mathematics. The program is part of the, became part of the College of Applied Sciences in 1905. And in 1927, the name was changed to its current name, the College of Engineering. The civil engineering program was first accredited in 1936. Uh, more recently, the Regents approved our new environmental engineering uh, degree program in 2017. One year later, Esteban Ladano, who's pictured on the right, became our first environmental engineering graduate. Um, and today, our environmental engineering program is undergoing review for accreditation. Civil and environmental engineering's legacy can be seen on the campus itself. The iconic ribbon through space walkways on the west side of the Iowa River were designed by a civil and environmental engineering professor. But you'll also see it in um, every day. Um, you know, in our students. Civil and environmental engineering students are truly engineers and something more. They design and build the Corn Monument each year, a homecoming tradition that dates back to the early 1900s. And they're involved in things like marching band and orchestra. They minor in dance or the arts, and they get certificates in sustainability and entrepreneurship. They also uh, participate in athletics, uh, like Cole Fisher in football, like Patrick Rhodes in wrestling, and like Maddie Murphy and Loka Stribos, who were part of the 2019 Big Ten Championship field hockey team. You'll also see uh, the legacy of civil and environmental engineering in our distinguished alumni, including Avery Bang, who led um, a project as a senior that built a footbridge in Peru. And today as president and CEO of the Bridges to Prosperity, she's now built over 250 footbridges serving nearly a million people to combat the primary cause of poverty in rural areas, and that's rural isolation. So her work um, is featured in big uh, Dream Big, Engineering Our World, a movie that I think every aspiring engineer should see. You'll also see our legacy and alum, Marcelo Mena. Uh, he's a uh, environmental engineer with a passion for sustainability, who has transformed the quality of air in his home country of Chile um, as the Minister of the Environment and who now works as a climate and clean air specialist around the globe as a World Bank practice manager. So um, how would I summarize civil and environmental engineering in one sentence? Um, civil and environmental engineers create the built environment while protecting and preserving the natural environment. And so as an undergraduate, you can choose among two degrees uh, two degree programs at Iowa, a degree in civil engineering or a degree in environmental engineering. Civil engineering is the more broadly based degree of the two with breadth and depth in four technical areas. And those are transportation, uh, structures, water resources, and yes, environmental engineering. Environmental engineering is a foundational component um, of, an of civil engineering education. Now, civil engineers need this background because civil engineering designs typically involve multiple technical areas. So here's a project um, creating a pedestrian bridge for foot and bicycle traffic over the Iowa River in Coralville. 
The bridge itself is designed with a truss structure. The bridge opening and piles must handle the flow and sediment um, in the river during and after construction, and the environmental impacts of the project must be assessed. Um, here's a project in downtown Iowa City uh, to upgrade some critical infrastructure. So you have underground pipelines um, that are designed to handle water supply and wastewater. Um, heavy rainfall is handled by storm drainage and storm sewers. Um, the roads and the traffic signals that are um, part of the project are designed to handle expected vehicle and pedestrian traffic safety. And of course, the roads themselves must be designed to have the strength and to handle the weight of vehicles for uh, many decades to come. Now, in contrast, uh, the environmental uh, engineering degree is more narrowly focused on two technical areas, and th those are water resources and environmental engineering. Um, instead, students gain additional depth and breadth in water resources and uh, environmental topics like groundwater, like air pollution, uh, like solid and hazardous waste. And there are also additional courses in chemistry, uh, biology, and material science. The new environmental engineering program, the first of its kind in the state, builds on our strengths here at the College of Engineering. Um, in water resources, IIHR Hydroscience and Engineering is a world-renowned fluids laboratory established 100 years ago. And environmental engineering and science is recognized as one of the top ranked graduate programs in the United States. Now, some projects like uh, water supply, like wastewater treatment, um, these are areas that either a civil engineer or an environmental engineer might work on. It's knowledge that really they both share through their um, education. Uh, but environmental engineering degree will also provide training to deal with many emerging topics uh, like the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico that's caused by runoff with excess nutrients in the Mississippi River Basin. And so environmental engineers will work to reduce runoff um, of nitrogen fertilizer from agricultural landscapes. Uh, they'll work to deal with the excess nitrates um, in river water supply. Uh, with recent changes in climate, river flooding has emerged as a growing problem in Iowa, and environmental engineers now work to create communities that are much more resilient to flood hazards, and they work on things like uh, river flood prediction, an example here um, of the work uh, that's being done by the Iowa Flood Center here on campus. So why choose civil or environmental engineering as a career? And why choose Iowa for your engineering uh, education? And I'll just give you my perspective. Um, one thing about our Iowa that you will enjoy um, is a supportive and collaborative undergraduate experiences. So unlike many places at Iowa, you will not be competing with your fellow students to win um, a cherished spot in the program you desire. Um, once you're admitted to the college, you can choose the program that fits your um, interests. So your fellow students are really your friends, they're your collaborators. You'll see this um, in the supportive spirit um, in many of our student organizations, where students come together uh, to build a corn monument uh, for a homecoming tradition or a canoe made of concrete. You will gain experience while you learn. Um, over 60% of civil and environmental students gain internship or co-op experience before graduation. And this is really important because these positions uh, count towards the work experience requirements for becoming a licensed professional engineer. You can also take advantage of opportunities that broaden your education and expand your understanding of engineering and the world. One is, example of this is my three-week winter uh, session course on water poverty in rural India, 
where we go there and we learn about a freshwater crisis in a rural agricultural area by doing hands-on project-based field work. Now your education um, at Iowa will prepare you for a people serving career. And it's one where you'll easily find work and you'll find work that you really will enjoy. Uh, for example, engineering in general is among the least underemployed majors, but civil and environmental engineering tops that list. Um, in terms of job satisfaction, civil engineers are ranked near the top in work-life balance. You aren't tied to a desk, you get outside, you work with the people you serve, and you have a job that has flexibility and variety. What majors are considered the most valuable these days? Uh, well, Forbes magazine ranks environmental engineering near the top as it's a growing field um, and it's one that's addressing emergency, emergent uh, ch uh, challenges. Uh, what I really like about being a civil and environmental engineer <coughs> is that uh, you get to work uh, to solve society's most pressing problems. The United Nations has identified 17 development goals for a more sustainable future, and it's civil and environmental engineers who play a vital role in reaching many, many of these goals. So that's my introduction to the civil and environmental program at Iowa. Um, it is a profession that creates the built environment while protecting the natural environment. Um, at Iowa, you will have an exceptional undergraduate experience. And after graduation, it is a career with excellent job placement and job satisfaction. So if you ever have any questions, uh, please email us. Thank you.